Hello and welcome viewers. You're watching Perspective with your host Kriti Mishra. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Mera Yuva Bharat or My Bharat platform for youth of the country on October 31st at Kartavya Path on the National Unity Day. In a momentous decision on October 11th, 2023, the Union Cabinet gave its approval for the establishment of an autonomous body known as Mera Yuva Bharat. Mera Yuva Bharat or My Bharat is envisioned as a pivotal technology-driven facilitator for youth development and youth-led development with the overarching goal of providing equitable opportunities to empower the youth in realizing their aspirations and contributing to the creation of a Vikasid Bharat. It envisions a framework where the youth of our country can seamlessly connect with programs, mentors and their local communities. This engagement is designed to deepen their understanding of local issues and empower them to contribute to constructive solutions. And for deeper insights, I'm joined by a very lustrous panel. Joining us in the studio, Mr. Akash Cha, Secretary, Youth 20 of G20. Also joining us, Pragati, Archer of International Repute. Welcome to Sunset Television and thank you so much for joining us, both of you. And Mr. Jha, let me begin the program with you. India's G20 presidency has been historic. India is the youngest nation. We've been talking about youth development and youth-led development. How do we ensure that, given our momentous precedency? We are still, I'll start with that, we are still into our, like, last month of our presidency. And with India having its youngest population amongst the countries, like 356 million and plus estimated as per the global reports. So we being the youngest country at the very helm and we are also arching towards the Amrit Kal exactly 25 years from now, like it's 2023 and since we are aiming towards this, I see that this presidency, this time and uh, the World Unity Day yesterday, all of these attributes converge at a point where youth's, youth dividend is and its aspirations are being relieved upon with this platform. And I see it as a very boon for the very uh, saturated population in the cities as well as unsaturated towards population in the rural areas. Like if we see the paradigm since last, this, the, since the tenure of this government in 2014, the motion was started of Digital India a mission. And today we can see that how slowly it's maturing towards new tools new aspirations leading the exact nerves of the youth and their aspirations and how they can contribute towards the world tomorrow and India at 247. This is my take at initial how this platform is. Well, absolutely. So basically we're talking about harnessing that potential. So how do you think that this platform will help us reap this rich dividends of youth power? This platform in particular enables autonomously the various initiatives that like the youth engagement across the domains of all the ministries, across the domains of all the local bodies and be the Panchayati Raj institutions, various initiatives, everyone has a youth development department and a ministry. So in convergence to all of these initiatives running in silos, this platform like I am aware about some initiatives by the Mudra Yojana for the entrepreneurship self, if I have my alignment towards that. But equally, I am not aware what's happening into the space arena where I can actually get some uh, capacity building workshops or also attend some community programs taking place. So this platform in particular brings the all of the converging opportunities, all of the converging initiatives, be it being run through uh, academic institutions or via communities or via businesses as well like it's not completely isolated for the government machinery it's a public participation approach that has been augmented in this and this very well uh, aspires the ambition of the youth that the, today I this particular platform as far as it's being developed and it has been launched I can see that what are the cultural activities that are taking place in my city, in my state, what are the opportunities or workshops coming up across the region and not just for the youth ministry. Youth ministry has developed this platform on the aspirations of the prime ministers that Antyodaya reaching out to the last person of the society 
and last person reaching out to all the sections of the governance of the initiatives of the communities through this platform. So, this platform augments the aspirations, the tools for the capacity building, the vigor to contribute, participate and to bring them together. Opportunity like demand and supply has been catered very well with this platform. Absolutely. So, the convergence component is of course very important, but Pragati, we are celebrating Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav. Next 25 years are very crucial for us as a country as you are pacing towards Vikasid Bharat. What kind of role do you see for youth in making our Bharat a Vikasid Bharat? Uh, actually, youth are having a very great pressure upon seniors. Every youth archer, I can say in my sport, every youth archer is able to shoot very good and we are having no pressure on us. We are very, very relaxed and I thank to the Modi, I thank to our Prime Minister that he helped us a lot and I am one of them, I can say, that I am able to beat my seniors, I never thought that. Well, absolutely and Pragati, let me say that, that all of us are very, very proud of all your achievements. But also joining us on the program right now, Urvashi Prasad, she is Director Niti Ayog. Ma'am, welcome to Sunset TV and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Ma'am, we are talking about My Bharat platform. Now, Vision 2047 requires a framework that can bring rural youth, urban youth and youth in our country on a single platform. The existing schemes of the government were designed and launched at different points in time over the last 50 years. How imperative is it to create a framework that unites rural and urban youth of our country on a common platform? Yeah, I think, you know, as you rightly mentioned that Viksit uh, uh, Bharat at 2047 is a, is a very big uh, vision and a goal that the Prime Minister has put uh, before all of us. And I think that is the important part um, about this uh, and, and therefore also this, this platform that has been launched. Um, that Viksit Bharat is not going to be a reality unless each and every individual and, and especially the youth uh, have the opportunity to contribute to it. Uh, it's not just about the government or the private sector or, uh, you know, NGOs. It is about each and every individual out there, um, whether they are in rural areas, whether they are in urban areas, whether they are able to connect through technology or whether they connect physically. And that's why this platform itself is, is both physical and digital. Um, they should be able to contribute to the nation's development and to this big overarching goal of uh, Viksit Bharat at 2047. Well, absolutely. Whether they can contribute or connect physically or through digital platforms, that's a very important component again, Mr. Cha. So what is this digital ecosystem that you're talking about? The digital ecosystem is all the initiatives that are running physically, all the institutional mechanisms that are in physical, like a lot of local governments again, a lot of uh, non-government organizations to have the physical infrastructure, sports infrastructure for say, or the cultural infrastructure, the studios, the art galleries, all of these. And this digital component, this platform will bring them on like if there is an activity that is taking place in Delhi's uh, Akashwani Bhavan and there are some artists around here, the youth of uh, or there is an event taking place at the NSD. This digital, you can access, participate and register yourself digitally and like get awareness about this particular event taking place or a workshop taking place uh, digitally and physically also access all of those uh, features that are in place. So, the digital component is a first time use that uh, this particular portal, I think this is one of the unique portal across the world. This is for the first time. It is our uh, blessing that we are the youngest country, but I am sure that we are the first country in the world to make youth the most digitally advanced youth tool and the most digitally advanced youth community in India with this. What particular. makes it so unique? What makes the platform so unique? This platform augments the potential reach like A or B initiatives taken by the government. Like I will say that there is a smart city mission 
that is running and there is a initiative that is you can work with the smart cities with a tulip internship this is running this is being run by the urban development ministry i being youth i work as an nss worker in uh, my particular university if tomorrow i have my career aspirations towards an urban profession or profession in that arena or i want to have my ideas like contribute towards this smart cities in particular and the tulip internship i am unaware this particular platform enables me to also access that this particular platform enables me to have the initiatives that are being run with the g20 presidency currently how where and all how can i participate this particular platforms gives me an opportunity what is going on in the startup arena like this gives me an over this is like the best thing about this and unique part about this is nowhere around around the world it's so digital that you can touch upon all the ministries with a single go with a single click and you means the access to the government has been reduced like it's not a last mile government it's a last click government well absolutely and as you've been saying that it's all about breaking the silos and working together in cohesion for actually realizing your potential but pragati you've had exposure on the national level international level tell us how do we invest more in our youth power in order to ensure that they excel in every sphere of life they become social innovators they become leaders of their communities uh we get every support we can have every support we expect we get from the government even when we whenever we go outside the country we are getting the pocket money even for every player that even if you want something to eat outside or go outside you are, you want anything you if you need anything you can buy it in that we have uh, the we they give the currency in our accounts that you can go and purchase anything you want but but everything is all right that somewhere we are not uh, we are not able to get uh, uh, the facilities of uh, uh, food that much or anything else in the camps when we are before going before the tournaments we yes, can perhaps. increase the facilities of that 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 is an area of improvement mr jha you wanted to make a point yeah i wanted to make a point that uh, this particular platform if we aspire for india at 247 i see that like very uh, upcoming event that we have is uh, cop 28 and yesterday we concluded meri mati mera desh yes the landmark event that we had and 50 million plus youth participated in this it's not about participation the tangible contribution that the youth with this social contribution that has been taking place is 23 million trees were planted as amrit vatikas yes this if we run through this and like at cop everyone speaks about the aspirational climatological policies similar platforms who have already been making tangible contributions like bringing the youth this is the tool where we are bringing or concentrating upon the youth at a simple platform but such initiatives are nowhere that i can see across the world people come together people speak people also make points that this should be done that should be done people there are there is a allied space of policy makers but this pol this particular portal will give an access to the last villager as well that he he or she wants or he or she has been working in ex environmental sector ex water sector or sanitation sector he or she can actually make his capacity building like it's also a tool how india's vision for the leadership at 247 is being developed this is a capacity building tool for the youth a nutrition i'll say this is a youth this is a youth nutrition that the government has launched yesterday well absolutely and as you said that it's very important to increase accessibility enhance accessibility but for that communication is very important and i'll take that to urvashi ji urvashi ji how do we improve two way communication to connect youth to the government initiatives and activities of other stakeholders and to engage them for a better tomorrow yeah i think um, you know there's there's obviously several ways of doing it um, and i think uh, you know technology is one of the enablers uh but we certainly needed and uh, an aggregating 
sort of platform, you know, which is which is what this pr will provide. Uh, because there's a lot of different programs, there's a lot of different initiatives of the government, uh, and the youth can contribute in so many different ways. I think the youth already in their capacity are doing a lot of things. Uh, but it's very difficult, you know, in a large country like India, where you have so many diverse states and districts and, and cities and towns and villages, uh, to really, uh, you know, have any kind of aggregation of these efforts. So I think what an initiative or what a platform like this will allow is that all the uh, initiatives which might be happening either in a piecemeal manner today or or at a small scale level, there is now an opportunity to aggregate all of those, uh, you know, both from the side of the youth as well as from the perspective of the government, you know, because the government is also doing a lot of different programs at different levels uh, in different sectors. Um, and again, you know, that is the challenge. How do we aggregate all this? How do we, uh, you know, make sure that it contributes at scale? Because when you're talking of something like uh, you know, transforming the whole country into a developed country by 2047, you need a lot of scale, uh, you know, in your initiatives. And, and so I think this kind of aggregation, uh, linking people through technology, but of course, you know, also giving them the opportunity to join otherwise um, is, is very important. Also, creating a centralized database will be very important, Mr. Jha. Yes, very much. Like, as... Uh... It is said that the data is a new oil yes. and uh, with this database, we will be actually in a position what the youth is being more aligned towards. It will actually give the real time reflections throughout like today we can see like for an example, there is an initiative being taken part in Kerala and we can see what is the influx of youth going towards, are they participating more towards the cultural programs, are they more enthusiastic towards the sci-fi programs, are they more into the capacity building initiatives that are being taken by the cooperatives ministry or it's a cooperative startup that the youth is interested in or it is what the youth is interesting, interested in more over the um, environmental or the space tech. We, this particular platform gives tools for the programmers like the faculties from the universities who are associated with NSS or the Scouts Guide like these initiatives done by the government for the youth development. It gives them a tool that they come on board, they become a verifier of the students part willing to participate from that university and here I particular I coming from an ex university give my registration, my verifier it gets on his dashboard, he clicks it. He sees uh, it's registered that I have my interests into the urban planning of India and equally if we look at this is a single dot that we are looking and if uh, nationally we look that this database of where the youth is aligning, where their interests are aligning and how we are, what we are tending towards will actually help, our, help us in pacing the more advanced strategy compared to the global scenario on like where do we want to go ahead with. And also channelizing the youth energy pragati, realizing what exactly the youth is interested in and then providing avenues for them. Uh, actually, uh, we are interested actually in a lot of things. <laughs> we are uh, like, uh, we expect a psychologist, we expect a physiotherapist, we accept all of these facilities together at the tournament. We are having this uh, psychologist and physio logist with with us in the tournament but the f physiologist and psychologist both of them have some demands and we are not fulfilled with that okay, okay. sometimes there are things where we need it but we don't have that again mr jha you wanted to make a point yeah absolutely this is where like the real time reflections what the youth if we need more of our in collation into the facilities that are being provided but there is uh, some small gap that but this again the data points will enable these decisions from the like it's a very uh, enabler that two way communication can start like uh, I being uh, suppose there is an example of a policy maker sitting at a ministry and the students uh, or the sports athletes like us taking part in various initiatives we can actually 
after participation, after a real time uh, engagement, we can make our reflections there and it would reach the relevant stakeholders. So, well, this data points like a uh, repository of all of these suggestions, the registrations, the in like the trends, what, how or the youth is willing to go towards or inclination, it will actually give us the real time info of demand and supply for the youth. So, uh, actually, Urushri, it's all about identifying the problem and then finding the constructive solutions through this platform. Would you agree? Yes, absolutely. And and I think, um, you know, it's it's very uh, useful to, to be able to have this kind of platform and channel, you know, where the youth can uh, directly contribute. They can also share their issues and challenges. You know, like like um, uh, like on your show. You know, if somebody is coming and, and 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 talking about very you know much the ground realities of uh, you know as as a sports person. You know, what are the kinds of things that a young person needs, um, and that will really help them to you know contribute and 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 sort of in a in a fulfilling way to society. So I think that's that's the whole point of something like this that you know this will create a platform it will create a channel but it will do so at a scale where we can really you know feed in the energy uh, of the youth the enthusiasm of the youth um, and and the innovation and the creativity of the youth into uh, you know really developing india and 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 achieving this vision of viksit bharat uh, by 2047 so i think that is really the goal and 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 we want youth from every part of india you know because like i said we are very diverse uh, and and a lot of the time it's very difficult for somebody sitting in say uttar pradesh to know that you know what is happening in tamil nadu or vice versa right so, so a platform like that will this will really help to bridge that kind of divide and that gap and and really bring youth from all over the country uh, together well absolutely and time for closing comments from all my guests mr jha Youth-led development for Vixit Bharat, your closing thoughts? I'll say youth-led development with the youth for the Bharat at 247. This platform enables them with the numerous capacities, opportunities, all at a single click. Like the last mile connect is now turned out with this Digital India to a last click. Wonderful. Pragati ji. Uh, it is very, very nice thing that uh, is happening now we will be able to mention all our needs and everything to them now i am thinking all of our needs are going to be fulfilled and we are going to give the success to our country and, and as mr jha said with a single click <laughs> yes with a single click yeah we are very <laughs> excited for that wonderful urvashi ji your closing thoughts please I think I'm, uh, you know, also very excited to see what this platform can help us achieve. Uh, like I said, we are, you know, obviously one of the youngest nations in the world. Um, and, and we really need to find good ways to capitalize on this youth energy and talent uh, and creativity and innovation that we have. And I think a platform like this will allow us to do that. So I'm certainly very optimistic uh, about this. Well, absolutely. And all of us share that optimism with you, madam. But thank you so much for joining us, Urvashi ji, Prakati ji and Mr. Jha. Well, viewers, that's all we had for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV. Goodbye for now from my side.